Hello everyone, my name is Vishnu and in this video, we are going to make a hard shape using HTML and CSS. So first we will create a new HTML file called index.html. Inside that, we will quickly add up the boilerplate. Now let's name the title as hard shape. Now inside body, uh, we will create a div tag and we will give it a class named heart. Now we want to create a new HTML, I mean CSS file naming style.css. Now we'll quickly link up the CSS file with the HTML one. So make sure that you add the link inside the head tag. So inside the head, I'll do link CSS. Now the name is style.css, so all good. Now we'll start writing the CSS. So the first thing that we want to do is go live. Yeah, we are live. Now we'll target the div. So dot heart and we will give it a width of 100 pixels and height of 100 pixels and a background color of maybe red. No, red seems like a, okay, let's give it a pinkish red theme. Yeah, this looks nice. Now, as you can see here, we got the container here. Now we want to make it in a center. So what we are going to do is we are going to make the parent container flex box. So what's the parent container of the heart? It's body, right? So we're going to do body and display flex. Okay. Now the body is a flex box. Now, we can do justify content center, line item center, but here we can see that it's not correctly centered. It's because the height of the container is only limited to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do height and 100 VH. So by doing this, the container is in the center. So now what we are going to do is we are going to rotate it to 45 degrees. So inside heart, what I'm going to do is use the transform, 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 sorry, transform property and do rotate uh, 45 degrees. Now we can see that it's like a diamond shape, but this is not how we want to make it. We want to make it a heart shape. So now we are going to use before and after pseudo selectors to make it a heart shape. Now, so what we are going to do is we, go, we are going to um, do heart before and here uh, I want to keep up the content nothing. I want to do its positioning absolute because I want to move those circles. So I want to do absolute. Now I will give it a width, uh, width of uh, 100 pixels yeah, and height of 100 pixels as well. Now again a background color now make sure that the background color should be the same as this one but for the teaching purpose i'm uh, keeping it red so now we can see that the hard dot hard before the before pseudo selectors had overlapped this one now what we are going to do give it a border radius border radius and 50 percent yeah the 50 percent so the the last thing i want to do to the before pseudo selector is that i want this ball to be here so to do that all we need to do is just write top and a minus 50 pixels maybe yeah so make sure that you have positioned your before uh, dot heart before pseudo selector absolute or else this will not work so we need a same kind of ball in the left side too. So we'll use an after pseudo selector. So dot heart after. So here we are just gonna do, do the same. So we'll copy this one and just paste it here. Now the only change that we wanna do is instead of top, let's do left because we want that ball to be in the left. As you can see, um, 
the heart shape is form but the colors are not not the same so we need to change the color do the color same um yeah why why this box is coming up yeah we need to just copy this and paste just paste it here and that's it this is a beautiful little heart shape and thank you for watching